Curry Hall is a hall within the Curry Building, which is an annex to the Mackenzie Building at the Royal Military College of Canada in Kingston, Ontario. It was built in 1922 and is a recognized Federal Heritage Building. The hall was designed by Percy Erskine Nobbs and built just after the end of the First World War by Sir Archibald Cameron Macdonald while he was Commandant of the Royal Military College of Canada. It was built as a memorial to the Canadian Corps of the Canadian Expeditionary Force. It plays a prominent role in the life of the university. During special events, invited speakers and dignitaries may address the university population or general public from the Great Hall. Many conferences held in Kingston, Ontario may book the halls for lectures or presentations. The Curry Building also houses the Language Center, Administrative Offices and Otter Squadron, University Training Plan non-commissioned members. The building was named in honor of Lieutenant General Sir Arthur Curry, who is a National Historic Person of Canada. Curry Hall is decorated with the crests and battle colors of every unit that fought in France during World War I. History at the official opening of Curry Hall at Royal Military College on 17 May 1922, General Sir Arthur Curry remarked, I cannot tell you how utterly embarrassed and yet how inexpressibly proud I am to witness this ceremony, and to be present when this hall is officially opened. It is a pleasure to look around and see the crests and battle colors of every unit that fought in France, and they remind me of the supreme effort of Canada, and they tell something of how Canada responded to the call to arms. Under the supervision of Eleanor Milne, then official sculptor of Canada, Morris Jonissa, then an apprentice carver, sculpted the royal coat of arms of Canada and Canada's motto, Ad Mare Uscad Mare, over the main entrance to the building. Jonas were also sculpted the arms of Sir Archibald Cameron Macdonald and General Curry over the main entrance. Jonas Er later served as official sculptor of Canada 1993-2006. LT General Sir Archibald Cameron Macdonald's Arms. General Sir Arthur William Curry's decorations. Major Stuart Forbes offered to paint the insignia as a gift to the college. General Macdonald said that no greater incentive or inspiration could be given to the gentlemen cadets of the Royal Military College of Canada than the sight of the emblems worn by the Canadian Corps. His Excellency John Ralston Saul described the Curry Hall decorations. This is an astonishing hall in which to speak. If you gaze up at the initials on the ceiling and at the paintings and the painted insignia around the walls, you are reminded that Canada is not a new country. Militarily speaking, we have been at it for a long time. This hall is a conceptualization of our participation in the First World War. All of that grandeur and tragedy is pulled together here in a remarkable way. I'm not sure that we could reproduce a hall of this sort to describe our military experiences of the last half century. The initials of Canada Corps Commanders General Sir Arthur Curry, Sir Edwin Alderson, and Sir Julian Bing, first Viscount Bing of Emir emblazoned on the ceiling of Curry Hall as are the initials of Sir Henry Edward Burstall, Garnet Hughes, General Macdonald, Lewis Lipsitt, Frederick Oscar Warren Loomis, S. Mercer, Sam Steele, E.W. Turner, and David Watson, Royal Military College of Canada Gentlemen Cadets Roll of Honor, Curry Hall, Curry Building, Royal Military College of Canada 2011, Battle List Canadian Troops on the Western Front Plaque in Curry Hall, Royal Military College of Canada, the badges and battle patches belonging to the units of the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th Canadian Divisions of the Canada Corps and the Cavalry Brigade at the moment of the First World War Armistice adorn 132 oak panels on the face of the gallery. The units in England consisted of Director of Supplies and Transport in London, CASC, Depot in Borden, CASC, Detachments at Borden, Whitley, Ramshot, Seaford, East Sussex and Shorncliffe, Kent Canadian Salvage Corps Detachments at Whitley, Ramshot, Seaford, East Sussex and Shorncliffe, Kent. 
The units in France consisted of HQ Canadian Base HT and Supply Company HQ Canadian Base Mount Detachment NOSE 1 and 2 Canadian Army Auxiliary HT Company CASC Reinforcing Pool NOSE 1 to 3 Canadian Railhead Supply Detachments 1st Divisional Train 2nd Divisional Train 3rd Divisional Train 5th Divisional Train Detachment Canadian Corps Troops Mount Company, 1st to 4th Canadian Divisional Mount Company, Canadian Engineers Mount Company, 8th Army CFABDE Park Section, NOSE, 1 to 3 Canadian Field Butchery, NOSE, 1 to 4 Canadian Field Bakery, and NOSE. 1 to 15 depot units of supply. The units of the Canadian Siberian Expeditionary Force Vladivostok consisted of number 1 Divisional Train Company, nose 16 and 17 depot units of supply, 5th Field Bakery, 5th Field Butchery and the Mount Section. Coats of Arms. 19 coats of arms tell the story of Canada's experience during the First World War. The first four brigades of the Canada Corps trained in Valcartier and Quebec City. The Corps landed in Devonport, Devon, in Plymouth Sound. After spending the winter on the Salisbury Plain, they crossed to France. Major battles fought by the Corps were the following. Battle of Mount Sorrel, Battle of Flores Corslet, Battle of Morville, Battle of Thiepville, Battle of Le Transloy, Battle of the Ancre Heights, Battle of Imi Ridge, Battle of Arlu, Third Battle of the Scarpa, Battle of Hill 70, Second Battle of Passchendaele, Battle of Cambrai, Battle of Amiens, Second Battle of the Somme, Battle of the Canal du Nord, Battle of Cambrai. October 8-9, the Corps returned to Canada through the ports of Boulogne-sur-Mer, Paris and London. Provincial Shields Edwin Tapanadny, who had served as engineering officer at the Royal Military College of Canada 1916-1919, created a set of three-dimensional shields of the Canadian provinces that adorn Curry Hall, Major Percy Erskine Nobbs Plaque, Marge Stuart Forbes Plaque. Artwork. In 1947, Emily Warren's two large, 6.5 feet times 11.5 feet, canvases entitled Canada's Tribute and Placing the Canadian Colours on Wolfe's Monument in Westminster Abbey were hung in the Curry Memorial Hall at RMC. The paintings depict the 52 sets of colours, standards and guidance being placed for safekeeping on the Wolfe Monument in Westminster Abbey. The paintings were initially hung in the Canadian Parliament buildings. In 2010, 31 paintings of Canadian War Memorials by F.A. Dawson were unveiled outside Curry Hall. Painting Placing the Canadian Colours on Wolfe's Monument in Westminster Abbey by Emily Warren. Emily Warren's Canada's Tribute. Emily Warren's Canada's Tribute. Emily Warren's Canada's Tribute. Memorial Staircase. As you enter the Mackenzie Building, which is connected to the Curry Building, you immediately see a staircase which was designated the Memorial Stairway after the First World War by RMC Cadet No. 151 Sir Archibald Cameron, MacDonnell, RMC Commandant 1919-1925. The staircase is decorated with the photographs of 358 alumni including Captain Nicola Goddard who had died in military service, memorial and commemorative stained glass windows. Outside Curry Hall, stained glass windows feature images of the Royal Canadian Sea Cadets, Navy League Cadet Corps and Navy League Granet Corp. In memory of David H. Gibson, CBE, National President, Navy League of Canada, 1938-1952 A stained glass window features images of a young sailor and God behind the ship's wheel. The window is dedicated to Canadians who in defense of the country went down to the sea in ships. The window includes a poem by H.R. Gillam. Proudly in ships they sailed to see ahead their goal, perhaps eternity but with God as the pilot they had no fear facing all danger as their course was clear their cargo, the record of their life some good, some bad, some peace, some strife.
Outside Curry Hall, on the first floor, two stained glass windows feature images of a military saint holding a staff and a shield and a military saint with a horse and three angels. The subject of the middle window is Truth, Duty, Valor, Royal Military College of Canada with the college shield and armor.